We begin this morning with the decision that sent shockwaves across America. The Supreme Court ending constitutional protection for abortions by overturning Roe v. Wade. In a landmark decision Friday, the court's five most conservative justices struck down the nearly 50-year-old ruling and a 1992 case that reaffirmed the right to an abortion. The decision in this new case, Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization, sends the issue of abortion rights back to the states, and it's likely to result in abortion bans in about half. While the Supreme Court's decision is a victory long sought by abortion opponents, the ruling was met with outrage by abortion rights advocates. Protests spread from the steps of the high court to cities across the country, and demonstrations are planned in more than 100 cities throughout the weekend. At a protest in Phoenix last night, police used tear gas to scatter demonstrators. Police say the protesters were banging on the windows of the state capitol while the Senate was in session there. There were no injuries or arrests. We have a team of correspondents covering the seismic decision, and we begin with Christina Ruffini, who is outside the Supreme Court. Christina, good morning. Good morning, Dana. In the end, the court's decision closely resembled that leaked draft opinion, with a conservative majority, including those three justices appointed by former President Trump, voting to overturn nearly 50 years of precedent. The question now is what the court is poised to do next. This decision must not stand! This is going to be like history. This is just the beginning of, you know, the pro-life generation. Elation and anguish outside the Supreme Court as the landmark decision was handed down. Writing for the majority, Justice Samuel Alito said the Constitution does not confer a right to abortion, returning the right to ban or allow abortion to individual states. Abortion remains fully legal in California. Today's decision does not impact our state's laws. We are prepared to immediately ban abortion in Arkansas with the overturn of Roe versus Wade. 26 states have petitioned the court to overturn Roe. 13 already have laws on the books that would ban abortion almost immediately. The others are poised to ban or greatly restrict it. It's a sad day for the court and for the country. President Biden said the court's decision will put women's lives and health at risk. It was three justices named by one president, Donald Trump, we're the core of today's decision. On Capitol Hill, House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy praised the decision. This great nation can now live up to its core principle that all are created equal, not born equal, created equal. But Speaker Nancy Pelosi questioned if the court's Trump appointed justices had misrepresented their position on Roe to Congress. Were they not telling the truth then? Republican Susan Collins, who voted for Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh, released a statement saying that both nominees were insistent on the importance of supporting long-standing precedents like Roe. America is not ready all for what's about to happen with the fall of Roe. The They're not. Abortion is now illegal in at least seven states, including Oklahoma, where medical staff performing the procedure could face prison time. And at least eight of the trigger law states do not have exceptions for rape or incest. Alexis McGill-Johnson is the head of Planned Parenthood. For many patients, it means that they will be forced into pregnancy because they won't be able to uh, have the resources or the ability to get out of state. Teresa Brennan is president of the Right to Life League. I believe these are people and they have rights too. So we've got to kind of find, we have to find a way to honor women, but also uh, really protect the fundamental rights of these children. And in their dissenting opinion, the court's three liberal justices warned, whatever the exact scope of the coming laws, one result of today's decision is certain, the curtailment of women's rights and of their status as free and equal citizens. Justice Thomas, who voted with the majority, wrote his own concurring opinion in which he suggested other rights like gay marriage and the right to contraception should also be reexamined. Jeff. Christina, thank you very much.